Good evening, friends, and welcome to Drone Day 2024. Um, there was a change of plans in my life. This was going to be a day to perform at a place in Hudson Valley, New York, like I did last year for Drone Day. Uh, life happened, things changed, and uh, so I'm coming to you live today from the No Signal Multimedia Labs here in the shambles of Chicago. Uh, today is Drone Day, as I mentioned, and this is going to be year four of a five-year project that I've embarked in called Kings of Ireland. So you're gonna hear part four in that series tonight. It's called The Mod, and I think you'll enjoy it. And uh, we're gonna commit some copyright crimes on our way to artistic enjoyment tonight. Uh, but first, I wanna start off with a, uh, a little experimental piece that I'm going to be improv on this instrument here, which is a uh, slide steel guitar. You may know the slide steel from uh, country western music or from uh, fake Hawaiian music uh, from the 50s and so on. It has a very distinctive kind of twangy, kind of slide, slidey uh, kind of feel. But uh, what we're going to use it for is uh, pure evil. So without further ado, we're going to get started here.
I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I really love this instrument. Um, I'm abusing it horribly by making it uh, into something drony and dream poppy, but I absolutely adore it. Um, and it's, uh, it travels light too, it's an advantage. So I mentioned earlier that uh, this is Drone Day and that this is year four of a five-year project called Gangs of Ireland. So just to establish a little bit of context, I'm going to play a short segment from a video that was uh, from a television show in 1982, uh, The Gay Byrne Show. Uh, Gay Byrne was uh, a, an Irish talk show host similar to uh, the acclaim of a Johnny Carson in the US, for example. And in 1982, he had a group of kids on the show representing different subcultures that were uh, popular at that point in time and kind of sensationalizing them a little bit playfully um, but the kids were just so kind and so nice and so level-headed that uh, they don't they don't really uh, feed into the controversy or the outrage or the uproar or the outrageousness that uh, that they were kind of presented as at the beginning. So it's kind of interesting. I'm going to play the uh, I'm going to play the opening segment from that particular show, and then I'm going to jump right into uh, this year's Drone Day composition, which is called the Mod. There are various types of gangs operating in Ireland at the moment in all our major cities. They are punks, mods, rockers, teds, greasers, futuristics, <laughs> new romantics, blitz kids, skinheads, rudy skinheads, boot boys, hell's angels, bikers and scab boys. And we have some representatives of various gangs on the program tonight, starting with closest to me, a gentleman called Donica McDonough, who is 20 years of age. He's unemployed. He's been a punk. For six years, he is from Crumlin, and he is one of 11 children. Beside him, we have Siobhan Corrigan, who's 19. She's been a punk for four years, and she's a sales assistant. She's from Drimna, the eldest of four children. Next, we have John Fiddler, who is 20, and he's a first-year student of fashion and textiles at the National College of Art and Design. He's from Kalini, the eldest of two children. It says here he's been dressing strangely for five years. <laughs> Gerard Quinn finally is 20. He is a mod. He's been a mod for three years. He's unemployed. He's from Fatima Mansions, and there are 16 children in his family. Let us talk to them a while about the sort of things that many people would, strain, would think strange and what they do. For example, Donica. Uh This is Big L 
unemployed. And you're 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 unemployed. in your hair and, and style and so on. Compared with the other, paired 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 with Compared with the others. Stoy, 
Right, that's cool. Price is 
microphone off. Sorry about that. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was piece number four of a five-year project, uh, the mod, uh, part of the Gangs of Ireland series. So piece number five will be next year on Drone Day, May 25th, and that's going to be uh, the child psychologist who kind of wraps up the uh, the whole series of interviews. So should be interesting. So I'm going to take a short break and drink some of this coffee. And while I'm taking a short break, I'm going to share a piece with you called Making Ice at Home May Seem Overwhelming. And this is a fun little piece that I've been I've been taking part in a project called Disquiet Hunto uh, since the middle of middle of December. And the way it works is the uh, the project's creator on Thursday publishes a prompt and the prompt might be something like uh, Think of the sound that, or uh, record the sound of carbonation and turn it into a song or something like that. Some of the prompts are very, are very open to interpretation and a lot of fun to, uh, to participate in. So this is one that I did um, where we had to use the sound of an ice cube uh, somehow to make a song. So I did, and I took advantage of uh, text-to-speech to create a little uh, vocal part for this. and. Uh, I think it's fun. I hope you enjoy it. Making ice at home may seem overwhelming, but the process is not as difficult as you might think and can actually be quite fun. This tutorial will walk you through the steps you need to master the art of making your own ice cubes. Step 1. Remove any remaining ice in the tray before refilling it. If you want all your ice to be even and consistent, only fill the tray when it's completely empty. It's perfectly natural to feel awkward or even a bit of discomfort during this process. Step 2. Fill the tray up just below the rim. If you want perfectly clear ice, instead of cloudy, boil the water first. Remember, you can turn the knob to increase or reduce the desired paint threshold at any time. Step 3. Place the tray flat in the freezer and wait. In most freezers, water should freeze in about 1 to 3 hours, depending on the size of the cubes and the temperature of the freezer. If you find yourself waking up from sleep screaming more often than usual, do not hesitate to report this to your superior. Step 4. Remove the cubes from the tray. To pop them out, twist the tray very slightly to loosen them from the sides, then pull them out. We recognize that this can be lonely work. Use your allocated break time to make connections with others in your work unit. Step 5. Enjoy your chilled beverage. You've, You've earned, earned it. it. Congratulations. Now you can save money at the glaciers and make professional quality ice at home.
That was fun. I hope you enjoyed that piece, a little improv. And uh, that is using this device, which is a favorite of mine, called the Ebo. It's an electromagnetic pick. It rests on the strings and vibrates, uses an electromagnet to vibrate the strings. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool uh, invention. Um, and uh, essentially it gives you infinite sustain. So when I lay it down on the, uh, on the guitar here, I can just let go of it and it will sustain the note and let me do whatever I want with it, which is uh, pretty cool. So um, that is everything that I had lined up for you all today. Um, oh, heavy Zed, hey there. So many friends in the audience today. I'm so happy about that. Um, I'm glad that I was able to uh, come on and it's been two years since I streamed and hopefully I didn't fuck it up too bad. Um, I'm going to leave you with another piece from the uh, Disquiet Hunto. Um, this one called A Picnic on a Cliff. I thank you all uh, for being here and love you all and uh, hope to see you again soon on Twitch.